outside on the, like at the entrance bar and because the supermarkets are in the, in the other direction we're getting this fabulous ride through the marina so we don't have to walk Take a ride and we'll bear it in your mind Now come and sit down with me in a rocking chair Coffee pot is nice and hot, mixing in our underwear Yeah, so the guys from the marina gave us a ride because the uh, marina is very nice but it's so far from where we are all the way to where the supermarkets are so, So we have to uh, walk all the way, so it's easy with the boat. And we want to use our dinghy, but we don't have a key to get out of the, of the gate. <laughs> we just managed to check in and everything. <laughs> and we actually even managed to eat something and now somebody offered pizza. What can we do? Yeah, the guys from the marina said, you want to come for pizza? <laughs> but we're not that hungry. So they have a slices? No. So yes, they have a slices. How can we refuse? to Tanja Marina in the middle of the night and we came to this entrance dock because we didn't really know how to find the bus and nobody here had uh, assistance unfortunately to lead us into the actual berth so they allowed us to stay here because it was really really windy to come yeah we've been here for a couple of days it's fine but just now we've been informed unfortunately we have to move away <laughs> because there's a big boat coming and they do now have a space for us in the marina and even though it's quiet now we are expecting some really bad gusts and hopefully it's not gonna happen and we're just gonna make it into the berth where we're gonna stay for a few more days and then prepare to go to the Canaries and then Cape Verde and then across the Atlantic. Now it's 20 to 20 knots, 25 knots of wind gusts. In between is a little bit calm, but in the gusts is very uncomfortable. And the marina decided that today is the day that we have to move away from this pontoon. I'm a little bit concerned, to be honest. No, if anything, I'll come back here again. So. <laughs> it's fine. It didn't turn out as planned to move. It was just too gusty and the guys tried from the marina but it was really tricky. So we gave up after two hours and yeah we just you know we had a talk because we said it, it's, it's not possible to go right now so we have to move on Monday and they felt a bit bad because they know it takes some preparation to get the boat ready to move. Now they came around and knocked on the on the side of the board and brought us this. It's really sweet, actually. <laughs> I know, and you had a sweet tooth, and we wanted to get some Moroccan sweets. And yeah, I mean, it's, it, this is really nice, to be honest. We were not expecting this. Thank you so much, guys. Eventually, the wind died down, and we were able to move into our berth. Here, we'll spend five days to complete all the preparations for our 12-day ocean passage.
too bad. It's all nice and safe. <laughs> and I do like that we have a finger pontoon because usually we have to scramble off the boat because we don't have a plank. We're actually so glad we chose this marina over any other one in Morocco because usually when you are in a marina everything else that you need is so far away you might get the odd cafe or you know maybe a bus stop somewhere but this one here is right in the heart of Tangier and they don't just have a chandler here they have a laundrette and like we get everything here it's just pretty perfect two reasons why we stopped here was one we needed this one here uh, an e -perp. Uh, emergency beacon so we are found if knock on wood anything happens on our crossing to through the, over the Atlantic the company who sold us a did the registration for us as well because you have to register to your boat so the guy sent us an email with all the paperwork and everything it took like 20 minutes and he said when you get it just make sure you test it there's a test button on it well the test button is the same one that is for activation you just have to flip it halfway like 90 degrees and then it goes in test mode. If you flip it all the way, then it gets activated. So we read on the internet, double checked on the internet that we we're not gonna activate the whole thing. So we went in the shop, we did it. We went like 90 degrees, the thing like flashed like five times and then one like long flash. So we compare it and it was all good. But then we put it in our rucksack and the thing keep like flashing for like maybe like six minutes and beeping and beeping so we were panicking <laughs> and so we went on the internet looking for it looking for us oh god someone's gonna call us in a minute it's like a helicopter is gonna arrive in a minute you know and then we figured out actually that once you do the test it does keep beeping and flashing for a while uh, until you know the whatever i don't know what it's doing so but anyway it's scary we're safe so we're, good. we're safe we're good <laughs> and another reason why we stopped here is provisioning because we do need food and water and all of these kinds of things. So this, we believe, was one of the best stops before we can actually cross. So we are a little bit on a, on a time frame. We have uh, our insurance cover changing in a couple of days. So we're not going to be covered here anymore. We're going to have to move to the Canaries and then Cape Verde. And that's what we're going to do. But before that, actually, we're going to grab some food because, yeah. We cannot be in Morocco and not try at least the couscous or tangi, and so that's what we're gonna do now. Yeah. So this is couscous. 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 Yeah. He's very, very, he's very proud of the couscous. Chicken, yeah. mm, chicken couscous. Wow. Nice one, yeah. Smells really good as well. <laughs> couscous Moroccan. Yeah. <laughs> Alibaba. Alibaba. Welcome to Alibaba. Yeah. Oh man, this looks amazing. Actually, we enhanced it a little bit. We asked the gentleman to put some extra. Um, caramelized onions on it and two of the chicken spurs because we saw it in a, in a different table and we thought how awesome would it be if it had just a little bit more chicken. Oh, wow, awesome. I guess, I guess it was good, no? It was good, I guess. Yeah. What you got? for sweets. Nice uh, scramble from your purse. Mm -hmm. They're very tiny though. I'm, I'm not and they're like 50 I'm cents not, each though. I'm not yeah, yeah, they're not, that, they're not that cheap though compared to the other sweets. Okay, I'll have the pistachio one. Though. Let me try that. Oh mm. boy. So, what's in there? What do you think? A lot of honey. Mm. Honey, pistachio. <laughs> Everything good for you. Mm. This is so good. We cannot stay in this country. The sweets are too good. Oh, oh, the free one. Cool. Wow, the color. This is yours. Oh, oh. <laughs> now I have to multitask. <laughs> Look at the color of this. Very nice. Mmm, but this is not sweet. Mmm, it's nice. Doesn't go together. No. <laughs> oh man, thank you so much. <laughs> Look, we got some mangoes for the way. You love mangoes. Oh, that's so nice. We've been walking through all of Tangier now, and we found this market that has pretty much everything but we can't find the cigarette lighter that we need for the cockpit to charge our appliances it always amazes me how these markets are set up that you get like 
fruits and vegetables and then you get socks and flat screen TV. flat screen TVs <laughs> there's, there's no system <laughs> you smell I smell olives and I could be buying a laptop right now it's uh, yeah it's cool <laughs> I don't think they have anything 12 volts here anyway. No, no. So yeah, this is a massive market, but unfortunately all pretty much clothes, phones, technology and not the things that we need. We just came back from the supermarket and the market and town. Yes, and the cat is complaining and we bought so much. So we got probably 80% of the things that we need. Lots of milk. We got like lots and lots and lots of bags full of vegetables and couscous and pasta and eggs and everything that basically lasts a long time we stopped here for provisioning an eperb so we got the eperb we provisioned now and yeah tomorrow we're gonna pick up our drone and everything and then the day after tomorrow we're probably gonna check out yeah we're going to cabo verde yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> Pee knows okay it's time to go and because Super busy sorting the longest line on earth. We have to leave from here and then dock on the welcome pontoon where we're gonna do the exiting formalities and uh, visit customs, get our drone from there, and yeah, they're gonna stamp out our passport and then we can go. They can't do it from here. This is what I love about boating because we're just getting ready and we're like really, really busy. And two gentlemen just came around and offered their help. For us to move because it's actually really windy and we're struggling a little bit so the boat is already in reverse we just made it out of the berth that was a little bit nerve-wracking because the wind is coming from a very unpreferable direction pushing us to the other boat but uh, yeah we're just uh, going back now try not to hit anything Lovely guys and the money now giving us a hand. That makes it a lot easier. <laughs> so it's never wrecking man. Especially when it's windy like this. 19 knots. Yeah. This is gonna be interesting. by the welcome pontoon <laughs> we made it luckily the wind is coming right from the bow so we just kind of nudged ourselves but there was just no way to film and uh, unfortunately the GoPro stopped working so but again we're here now okay I can turn the boat off yay wonderful okay ah yes yeah, I'm still a bit sweaty that was stressful like it always is I got the customs papers our passports and the boat paperwork this is the last bit that we need to check out from here in Morocco and then we're gonna be on almost direct route to Cape Verde we're just gonna probably pass the Canaries to get a weather forecast and in case we're really really exhausted we might sleep over for a night but this is gonna be now about 11 to 12 days non-stop sailing and I'm already naked. <laughs> I'm declining. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to uh, pay the marina now and get our drone because they, they, they held our drone for a while. Yeah, they held it <laughs> They held a hostage. <laughs> and after that we should be uh, ready to go. And it's a bit tricky to, to leave the pontoon because we, we've been pushed into the pontoon because the way the wind is, is pushing us now. I don't know if I can film that because we only have like two hands, so... Yeah. Into the wild again Tell me when does it end And just like that, we began the first leg of crossing the Atlantic Ocean. A year ago we had no experience. Now, we're about to embark on an adventure of a lifetime. But more about that next week.
ਜਿਵੇਂ 